So ChatGPT recently launched an update and OpenAI has been on the up and up with a new feature where you can take PDFs and upload them into your GPT chat. So if I go here to this little attachment icon inside of ChatGPT, I can click right here. And for context, by the way, this is for only GPT-4, not ChatGPT 3.5. And then if I were to ask it something like, can you summarize this ebook? This is 10 Steps to Ta Saving Time and Doing More, a free ebook that I created last year. And what we have here is a solid product that allows you to essentially ask questions, similar to what you get with PDF.ai. But, well, this is a really cool launch and addition for ChatGPT. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we at PDF.ai are doing something a little bit different. We're creating a product that is more specific. Like this is a really cool launch. However, for all intents and purposes, we have a little bit, I, was, I mean, I would say more specific product that allows you to do more with PDFs and has a greater focus on it. I mean, the name has PDF in it. So obviously we're gonna be focusing on this kind of stuff a little bit more. So let's dive into why PDF.ai is going to be a better solution for you over just the standard GPT-4 integration with file uploads. PDF.ai offers a suite of different tools, making it a more efficient, effective, and insightful experience. Imagine being able to chat with your PDFs, extract key information, and collaborate with your team seamlessly, not only in a basic chat like this, but with a lot of different features. First and foremost, something that ChatGPT does not have is a Chrome extension. So we've made a video before. If you wanna check out the entirety of it, we do have another one on the YouTube channel. But with the Chrome extension, if I was just taking a look at this from a, say I was a student, was reading up on some philosophy, something that I get with PDF.ai is if I have a item that I am reading up on, inside of my browser, or even if I was reading my ebook, I could go to the bottom right here and utilize this Chrome extension. And by quickly pressing confirm and while interacting with the internet, I can get access to this amazing PDF product where I can ask a question like, what is the third step to saving time and doing more? And this is true. It is health and wellness. And after interacting with it with a multitude of different questions, what I can actually do is I can go to my pdf.ai account and you'll notice that immediately this is integrated inside of my entire experience. This is not something that you can do with ChatGPT. You can't just like log in and be like, hey, I'm on this PDF. No, I'd have to go through the whole process of downloading this, going to the app. Also, I need to have GPT-4 in order for this to work. Uh, PDF.ai has both 3.5 and 4 models for varying levels of need here. And not only do we have things like the Chrome extension, but we have niche support. We are building out a multitude of different tools inside of PDF.ai, like a resume scanner, an invoice scanner, a quiz generator, and the ability to do a multitude of different things to your PDFs. I know that there are so many different tools that I've messed around with in order to merge or split PDFs or do conversions of file types, and I just really trust the product, so luckily, I know that PDF.ai is a product that I can trust to do not only what it is with the interaction inside of PDF.ai and interacting with PDFs, but it also has those specific products. You'll notice as well when I was initially pressing this that it did have something that's amazing, which is I'm opening up this in various tabs and since it has it cached in my browser, I'm basically able to continue to interact with this. However, if I did pick some sort of new item to work with, like this PDF viewer right here, I actually have the option to... Something else that's great inside of this that ChatGPT doesn't have is that I can click OCR. So whether it's something like this or if it's an image, for example, and you're trying to essentially do optical character recognition, which means just like reading text from images, then it is also going to be able to convert the pictures into text. This happens with a lot of PDF that professors seem to upload or people in general seem to do. They just like scan the document. So this allows for you to take the PDF and actually figure out what text is there rather than just reading it as an image. Alex Kerr talked about this on Twitter and it was interesting because he said many startups died today. OpenAI added the PDF chat, but and saying that like rappers are being squeezed by OpenAI on one side and incumbents on others. Here's my thing and what obviously our founder Damon believes too, and he's tweeted about this recently. Bootstrap profitable companies like 
ours just know exactly what people are looking for and are making these spe product specific things. The fact that we have a nice Chrome extension, have specific side tools, have the ability to even make custom prompts like we've talked about in different videos. This is what we're attempting to do. We're attempting to make a product that really caters towards the needs of people regarding PDFs rather than ChatGPT, which is trying to figure out the technology of the chat in general. The specificity of this product cannot be lost. We are really trying our best to create a product to work for people who need their day-to-day -day improved. And with PDF.ai, we're hoping to do that for students, businesses, and more. I know the fact that I can log into this product and chat with multiple different PDFs and so easily go back at my chat history, categorize them, and even have something as cool as like this, which I go into chat all and I can just like change between all the different PDFs I have. It's just a very solid experience for what we're going for. And if you're looking for more content on how PDF.ai can improve your business, workflow, or your school, or any work you're doing, make sure to check out other videos like this one on how to improve your skills using PDF.ai even more.